the invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941 would leave the Western Front relatively calm. The immense casualties seen on the Eastern Front of the Second World War is one of abject horrors. As the fighting raged on in the East, the British commandos would try to find ways to crack the Atlantic Wall. This would be Operation JV, the 17th mission taken against German-occupied Europe. The two-man team, consisting of Captain Gerald Montanaro and Trooper Priest of the No. 6 Commando Unit, would use a two-man canoe for their clandestine mission beneath the German noses. The men would originally be tasked with reconning the harbor and the port, but would find the opportunity to sneak into the port. A mortar boat would take the two-man team closer to the French coast, within striking distance. The Fallbot Mark I canoe would be lowered a few miles away from shore, and the two men would be able to paddle into Boulogne Harbor without being detected. Their target would be a mine or cargo ship, and in the middle of the night, they would attach eight limpid mines set on four-hour fuses. The two commandos would then make their escape. Although their canoe was punctured by a ship, it would force one of them to bail out water while the other paddled. Eventually, after an hour and a half of intense paddling, the canoe would make its rendezvous with the motor launch boat. When the commandos and crew had arrived in Dover, the Boulogne Harbor would explode, and the aerial recon the next day would show the cargo ship had been wrecked. Although small, Operation JB was another success for the commandos who were riding high from their Saint Nazaire, France raid at the end of March 1942. That would wrap up this video when a two-man team with a canoe was able to strike at the German-occupied Boulogne port. Thank you for checking out this video and series on British commandos. I have plenty more other content on the Second World War. Thank you for sticking around and don't forget to have a phenomenal day.